guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how to make a loading screen so that when players join your game then the loading screen will show up so the first thing we're going to need to do is go to replicated first and add in a local script and then in here we're going to do game dot replicated first colon remove default loading screen and then we're going to go down and do local player gui equals game dot players dot local player colon wait for child and player gui and then we're going to do player gui colon set top bar transparency to zero and then local gui equals script dot loading screen colon clone and then we're going to do gui dot parent equals player gui and then wait 11 seconds or however long you want the loading screen to show up i have it 11 seconds and you will find out why later on we're going to go down here and do gui dot frame colon tween position the new dim2 dot new and we're going to do zero comma zero comma one comma zero comma and then we can do in out and then comma sign and then comma 0 0.5 then we can do wait for 0 0.5 seconds and then we can do gui colon destroy all right, now in this local script, we're gonna wanna insert a screen GUI, and then we can just call this loading screen, and then we can insert a frame, and this is what's gonna be showing up on the screen, so we can customize it, and to make it easier, we can put into starter GUI. I'm just gonna start by making the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero, so it covers the whole screen. Change the background color to that, border color. And then in this frame, we can add in two text labels. One can be called the game name. And then this one will be called, we can just leave as text label, or you can just do loading. And for the loading button, you can customize it to whatever you want. I am going to make the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 so it's right in the middle change the font the text color make it text scaled and the text to be loading and then for the other text label you can customize it again you can change the text to your game name and then we can change the size to zero comma one thousand two hundred and sixty six comma zero comma seventy two and keep the position and you can move the loading screen to wherever you want i'm just gonna put it right in the middle there and then in the loading text label we're gonna insert a s local script and then in here we can do local text equals script dot parent and then we can do wait one second and then we can copy the wait and then we can go down and we can do text dot text with a capital t equals and then loading with one period and then we can copy both of these lines and paste them and then we can add in another dot and same thing but we add in two dots and then we'll do uh, two dots again go down and we'll go down to two dots and then one dot and then zero dots and then we'll go to instead of loading we'll do load id and then we'll wait for two seconds and i don't know how to spell so i need to correct my spelling error and then we can point test it and it will start the countdown and it will slide down your screen. 
So that's how you make a simple loading screen in Roblox Studio. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you did have problems with any of the code, you can head over to my website, which is sites.google.com slash view slash Kai the Awesome. And then you can go over to the code section right over here. And there will be a drop down like one of these that you can expand and then copy it and then paste it into your script. I just ask that in return that you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.